that if you're new. Please don't forget, over 10,000 HPs have been sold. Stick with me and find out why. This is actually coming up. So if you need a laptop or you've got an old desktop that you're just over with, uh, I want you to see that HP coming up in just a couple. All right, before we get to the chandeliers, let's do this. This is amazing. All right, you're actually getting three of these, okay? Three of these called the Sunrise Hummingbird Mint. It's a this day only at $22. And of course we have five flex and free shipping only for this weekend. You're seeing that five flex on everything. It's your choice of three different colors of three. So you can choose, do you want the orange? Do you want to get the beautiful blue? Or do you want to do the violet? So this is the violet here on this end. So let's, Rochelle, get into this. What is a hummingbird mint? And let's kind of explain what they should expect when they get these home. Yeah, this is one of my favorite plants. It is one of my favorite plants because of many things. First and foremost, it is super easy to grow. It is um, very vigorous. It loves kind of to be baked in the hot sun. It doesn't need a lot of water. It's just a really tough plant. It's one of those plants that I can happily ignore in lieu of paying attention to something else that's a little more high maintenance. The other reason I love it is because it attracts bees and butterflies. It is constantly covered. I have a whole bunch of them right outside my front. I do the purple ones. Um, I also, there's a pink one that I have. They're just fantastic. Uh, like a xeric landscape sort of plant. But the bees and the butterflies and the hummingbirds are just constantly all over these things. And then the last thing, but probably for me the most important is they smell so good. So that's why I put them all by my front door. The foliage and the flowers, but it's really the the foliage. It smells like a spa. It's got this kind of um, cross between like a minty, uh, not a, not a pepperminty mint, uh, like a licorice mint. And, um, I don't know, like a sage or a lemon balm. And it's just such a, um, calming, beautiful scent. You can make, um, teas with it. It's, this is, um, really just a really nice plant, easy, easy to grow, but just, it, I don't know. I love the scent. Lovely. It's my favorite Actually, thing about lovely. the whole bit. But, okay. So here's, we yeah. get three of these. Do we put them all in one planter? Can we spread them out? And when do they reach this size? So these are gonna get pretty big pretty fast. These are how they come. Um, they could get that big in the first year. I'm guessing it might be for the second year, but uh, if you have a really great growing spot, I've had them get super big, super fast. Um, because that's what they do. They are very easy to grow. They can get big fast. They do die back all the way to the ground every year, but they're perennials. So you won't see them at all in the winter. They go all the way to ground, but they come back with this full, you know, like mine, these are not gonna get that big. These are gonna get a few feet, but I have a variety. They get six feet tall every single year. So that just gives wow. you an idea of how wow. this type of plant will grow. <laughs> it goes all the way to ground, all the way to six feet tall and back to the ground in a season. So they are very vigorous growers um, and they will really, they'll do their thing. So you can plant these in a pot if you want to. They'll look lovely there. Pick Single your color. Or do I do all three in one pot? You know, it depends on your pot size. If you're doing something like a 12 inch pot, I would just put one in there. If you're gonna mix it with other things, I would do a bigger pot, like 16, okay. 20, probably closer to 20 because these are gonna fill that out. They, right. really, they really are a decent sized plant. Um, but I think put it in the ground though, because this is, that's what I would do. These are going to come back year in and year out. So if you put them in a container, you know, you're, you're going to have to manage that a little bit more. These are something that, you know, if you put it in the ground, you don't even have to think about it ever again. They are just going to be these consistently solidly beautiful plants Can they that grow you really anywhere? don't have to do anything to. Can they grow anywhere in the yes. country? Yes, they're hardy down to, I believe, zone three or four. So that everything in the lower 48 for sure. Um, you're, yeah, and they're sun lovers. So they really can take the heat. That's what's really nice about them. They don't wilt in the heat. They really, oh, nice. you know, kind of stand up to that hot, hot sun. I have it in the hottest part of my garden and they are not the ones that wilt over when the, you know, the days get so, you know, oppressive. They stand there and just take it. They're great. That's awesome. And I just love how beautiful the petals are. I love how the colors are. I think the greenery is so thick and full and gorgeous. And remember, you're getting three. So it's not like you're just having to pick one. You actually get three of the same color. So imagine if you mixed yeah. all the colors up. And again, these are known for attracting the beautiful butterflies and hummingbirds. Like you can see yeah. how they would go in. If you go really, really tight on just one of the leaves, you could see how they'd go in there and want to get the nectar.
nectar out of the inside. It almost is a funnel for mm -hmm. the, the, the little hummingbirds to get in there and get the nectar. But just a beautiful, beautiful plant. And I love it when you said easy, Rochelle. Like, I think a lot of us, we just don't have time, nor do we have the patience. I wish I was a great yeah. gardener, but I am not. But I love the results. And my goofy yeah. story about walking past all my neighbor's patios, the ones that I always admire the most is not the best furniture, quite frankly. It's the most beautiful flowers that they have out on their patio. Mm -hmm. And instantly mm -hmm. this space just seems, I don't know, cleaner and greener and more beautiful and almost cooler in a way, you know? It seems more inviting. It's just beautiful. And if you guys have ever plants gone to do, any... Well, I'm yeah. sorry, go ahead. Go, sorry. I was just gonna say plants do have a cooling effect. It cool the atmosphere around you down. So, you you know, the more plants you have on a patio, the more cool it will actually feel and it will actually be, to right. be honest. Well, and what I, I know, know too, guys, is like, <laughs> I don't have a yard anymore, but I can absolutely would love to see these in a nice big pot. And again, just adding that burst of color. And what I think when you do that, you just bring a little bit of zen to your life. I think you bring very much <laughs> happiness to your life. Color is always a beautiful thing to have. Can you imagine if you have enough space to do these and our high Discus today special. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how brilliant that front yard would look, the front walk, that back area that's got a lot of sun and you're like, man, nothing ever grows there. Stick these there, it's actually gonna love the yeah. sun. And they can take it, they can take kind of that brutal hot sun, especially like here in Florida. But imagine this, take all three of these colors, work it back into our Hibiscus Today special, and that would just be a breathtaking corner on your lot. I mean, that's just something people right. drive by and like, okay, that is gorgeous. And you know what, it's really interesting. I love watching home shows, Rochelle. I love watching home shows. And whenever I watch <laughs> the do. ones where they do the landscape out front, it's day and night, and all they're doing is some smart, colorful planting generally. Right, right. No, that that's so true. And really, you know, it doesn't take much. These are going to fill out each one of these. You probably need to space these about 12 to 18 inches apart, and you will have a just a nice chunk of a mass. And these do bloom. Um, they'll they'll start to grow obviously immediately. They're going to start blooming kind of midsummer, and they're going to be in that full bloom, attracting all of that um, hummingbird and butterfly um, wildlife to them all through the summer, which, and I have to say, people always say, I want a butterfly garden, and uh, it's like Kevin Costner, if you build it, they will come. If you plant this, I promise you, the butterflies will come. They know this plant, they love this plant, they are obsessed with this plant. I love them because I, I planted them, as I said, right by my front door. It is just a hive of butterflies all the time. And it's because of my butterfly mint. That's what Isn't we call cool? it butterfly mint. I love it that. It is really, really cool. Yeah, yeah. and uh, guys, I just want to give you a little quick update too. A half an hour ago, we started off doing what's called a big deals weekend, right? It's really huge. It's one of the biggest weekends we'll do all year long. We have five flex on everything. And I want to re-explain that just because it's so good to have five flex. We normally never do that, right? What happens is in this case and anything else, you have five months to pay it off, but it's going to ship right away. And Rochelle, I do want to go back to ask about shipping on this. this this is yes. a this day only. It's like a mini today special. You have from 10 o'clock until midnight tonight to get three of these plants for $22. And if you want what I consider a lot of bang for your buck, it's these. Look at how incredible these are in front of me. They're beautiful. And guess what? Once you plant them, basically you don't have to work at it. They just come back year after year. They're perennials. So you buy them once mm -hmm. and years from now, you're still admiring your beautiful plants out in the front yard or on your patio or mm -hmm. out in your your backyard or wherever it might be. Also, I do think these makes a fabulous gifts for people because they're the unexpected stuff. Now, don't forget, if we can, guys, can we shoot my hibiscus just one more time real quick? If you missed a look at our today's special, the price on this day only and the price on that fabulous hibiscus tree all ends at midnight tonight. Can you imagine tonight, one shop, have some fun, five flex on the whole thing, and literally transforming that space in your home 
problem that you're not happy with, something that looks dull and drab, the area that doesn't make you pleased. I think it's so important, and we're spending so much time at home right now, we've got to max out our experience. Why not? You know, it's the most important place in our lives. So whether it's a balcony, like me, I have a patio, or you've got a big old yard, congratulations. This is the way you can shop for plants and really feel comfortable ordering them. Um, do me a favor, Rochelle, can you talk about the shipping on these? And also yep. talk about the warranty both on our today's special and on these as well. Absolutely. So uh, all of these are going to ship according to the map. Uh, the, these um, hummingbird mint are perennials. So they're going to ship earlier. They're going to ship exactly how the map says it. So if you look at the map and you see the date on the side there, that is when the hummingbird mint will ship. These are perennials. That's the perennial shipping date. Our annuals and houseplants, which is the hibiscus, ship two weeks later. So they won't come together if you order them together tonight. They'll come in two separate boxes, which is perfectly okay. The reason for that is the hibiscus is a little more uh, susceptible to getting cold, whereas the hummingbird mint is not. This is hardy all day. Don't have to worry about shipping it and if it you know might get cold in route to you so uh the other thing you asked me though is the warranty the warranty on the perennials that's the hummingbird mint you have a whole year if something goes wrong if you plant them in your garden they don't come back next spring whatever it is you just give us a call right on the back of all of our brochures where do i have a brochure uh is our contact details everything you need to know about the plant is in here, but then on the back of every single one of these is a phone number. We are available central time, eight to four every weekday. You can call us up. We have excellent gardeners, people who know everything about our plants and can help you across the country. Ask them whatever questions you want. I mean, this is your resource to get the gardening help you need. So, and if something is wrong and you would like to uh, talk to us about the warranty, that's the number you call. So you have a whole year on the butterfly mint. You have 90 days on the hibiscus. That's because it's the annual slash houseplant category. And uh, I mean, honestly, you, these, th this is, you're going to pull these out of the box and they're just, these are going to go crazy. That's already crazy. Right. This thing is already a massive plant. You know? So you're not going to have a problem, but just in case you do, you've got backup. Which I think is so important. And they're great about that too. They want to help you. They want you to be successful. All right. The orange is now the most popular. So we have orange. Then we have the, what we're calling this one officially the blue. And then we have what's called the violet. You will get three plants in each order. So you get three of these guys that come to your door and then you're just going to put them in the ground if you want to. If you're like me and they've got to go in a pot, great, do that too. It'll look like they look fantastic in these pots right here. So you've got some they options do. with this. Now I'm going to let Rochelle go just for a little bit because we're going to take our final and last look at that incredible hibiscus tree. Uh, that is our today's special. And please remember our this day only ends at midnight as well. So Rochelle, I'll see you in a few. Okay. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks love. Okay. We got to move okay, on. Bye. We got more to get to. We'll keep you updated on this guys too. All right. Next up.